Yes, guys, is that time you've been waiting for? It's double header time. Uh, we have two battles here. The first one is a pretty early on DC, um, but uh, it's all right. It's against Panic from Smogon, uh, and uh, I'm using a brand new team here. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, so let's see how this goes. Well, I opened with Gengar, and uh, he led with his Registeel, um, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I decided to switch out to Bronzong. Uh, and to just see what he wanted to do. He decided to switch to Heracross. Um, and so I decided to stay in, set up my Reflect, while he gets Megahorn in. Um, now, I decided to switch out to Gengar, uh, because I've got the Reflect up, and I know I resist Megahorn, and I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed. So I decided to go in for that, and I'm surviving the Megahorns pretty well. B bit of stupid there, I forgot I had the Choice Scarf on. But yeah, I got off the Shadow Ball onto him, um, and I decided to go for the Shadow Ball again and hit his Registeel. Um, now, I decided to switch back out to Bronzong, sort of as death fodder, or to just try and set up Hypnosis. But he Zap Cannons, and I was like, wow, I've never seen that before. Um, and I know it's got like 30 accuracy or something, something stupid, but he gets it to hit on the second turn, and I was really pissed with that, because it shouldn't really hit. Um, so I send out Infernape, Shout out to the Wind Waker for this and for the Bronzong actually. Um yeah, he gave this to me. It's pretty nice. Mix eight. And I go for the flamethrower. I don't want to over predict just yet. Um and he switches to Starmie, which is a nice move. And I go to Hellish, the Blissey. Um and this is a new Blissey, it's one of those S tossers. And I got it from Margioff uh Maryland, so shout out to her for that. Um and uh I set up Stealth Rock. Um so now he sends out his Blissey, and I have no idea what it's going to do, so I'm just staying in here, and I'm just going to wait until I find out what it does. And I keep waiting, and uh, remember guys, it's in four times speed, so yeah, and then it disconnects, so I was a bit strange, that was a bit strange that one, but anyway, um, here's the second battle against the Nudge, and this one turns out to go a lot better. Um, and so I lead off again with the same lead, Gengar Scarfed, um, and he switches out straight away to his Blissey, and I T-bolt it. Um, now he takes it very nicely, as you would expect a Blissey to do, and I just want to scout out what his Blissey's got, what it's like, so I go to my own Blissey, and I absorb the Thunder Wave nicely, um, and he decides to set up Stealth Rock, as do I. Um, now... I decide that I can switch out here, um, or no I don't, yes I do, yeah I switch out to Bronzong, because I want to get up a Reflect, and I want to just get up something, get a Hypnosis off or something, I don't know. Um, so he brings in Fortress, and I predict really well there, I knew he was going to Rapid Spin, so I went to Gengar, and uh, out his Rapid Spin fails, so yeah, sucks for him. Now I sort of... Um, gave away my game there, Destiny bonding a bit early. I was I was thinking he may want to gyre ball me, predicting my scarf, but he didn't do that. He switched out to Blissey, and the Destiny bond failed. And I predicted the Thunder Wave there, and I went to Bronzong specifically to take the Thunder Wave, because let me tell you, Bronzong when it's Thunder Waved, gyre ball does a hell of a lot, and I'm meaning I mean it does tons. It's like a three HK on Blissey. I mean, it's that powerful. And I mean, even it does that much to Fortress, that, it's, I don't know, it's just powerful with, with Paralysis. So I got my Reflect up, and he Rapid Spins, which I expected, but I just wanted to get him to sleep. So I stayed in there instead of switching out to Gengar. But I unfortunately got the Parahax, so I couldn't get the Hypnosis off, which kind of sucked. So he Toxic Spiked, and he only got one layer up, and that was really crucial in the long run, I would say. Um, it was very important for me. Um... But yeah, that was good that I stopped him getting his second layer. So I switched out to Infernape, and it's pretty obvious that he's going to switch. So I decided to get a nasty plot up. So he switches out to Blissey. Um, bit of a strange choice. Um, and I didn't go for the close combat, because I predicted him to switch again, predicting my close combat. So I went for the flamethrower, and he soft boils up, just to see what I would do. Now... 
I'm predicting him to switch again, but I just want to, just in case, go for the close combat. And so I decide to go for it, and luckily for me, he doesn't switch. And that was a real godsend, because it meant I was able to get rid of his Blissey. And uh, that helped quite a lot, because it meant that uh, my special sweeper, Gengar, was not hindered. Um, so he brings in a Skeptile, and I know he's faster than me, um, but Infernape's pretty much useless to me now. Um, so I decide to Flamethrower, he subbed up, I got rid of his sub, which was really nice, and I don't take Life Orb Recoil damage when I get rid of a sub, which was good t as well, because it meant that he lost more HP from this sub, and I got to get off another Flamethrower. And so down goes Infernape from the poison damage, not that big a deal. Uh, and I bring in my Scarf Gengar, who I know will outspeed the Skeptile, and I Hidden Paralyze him. I'm, I was quite surprised here. I don't think he just... He he forgot that I was Scarfed or something, or he just didn't know I was Scarfed at all, because Gengar sort of wreaked a bit of havoc later on. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good for me. So he brings out Typhlosion. I thought a lot about that move, because... He could have Focus Punch, predicting my switch to Blissey. And I was really thinking about that move a lot. Um, so I could have stayed in and dodged the Focus Punch, but I wasn't going to take that risk. Um, and so I decided to switch, and it turned out really good. Because I got Blissey out, and it just completely walls his eruptioning. Now, I was on pretty low health here, and I knew that I would survive that, just due to the fact that I'd taken down his HP enough so the eruption wasn't as powerful. Um, so I got the soft boiled off there, which was nice. And I'm just sort of wearing him down now. I decided to get up my stealth rock. I know he can't really do much to me at the moment. And I'm just getting worn down by poison and by his eruption. So I just keep soft boiling myself back up to full health. Um, or near enough into the green. Um, and I just decide to keep um, doing this and stalling him out. And hoping that he doesn't get a crit. Which thankfully he doesn't. So now I decide to go for the S-Toss. He switches out to Fortress, and uh, its pitiful HP means that it's nearly a... Uh, it's a 3 HKO on Fortress. And uh, so his Fortress is like that. And um, so I bring out Gengar, and uh, I know that I can get rid of him with a Thunderbolt pretty easily. Um, so I just decide to do that. And uh, he switches out to Typhlosion, takes some Stealth Rock damage, Thunderbolt, he goes down. And I would have outspared him anyway due to the fact that I'm Scarfed. Even if he was Scarfed, I would have been faster. He switches out to Yamega, which takes deathly damage from Stealth Rock. He protects in vain because I am Scarfed. So I Thunderbolt. He goes down. And uh, it's pretty much game over from here. Um, he switches to Fortress. IT Bolt. He goes down as they all do, to the power of Gengar. And I was really pissed about this, because T-Bolt didn't take out his Weavile, and my Gengar wasn't uber enough. Uber Gengar! But it didn't. And so I go down to a Night Slash. Oh well. I was really pissed at this, actually, because I couldn't, couldn't test out Celebi, because I really wanted to test out this new Celebi I've got. So I bring him a champ for the final death by dynamic punch and down he goes and uh, uh gg there and uh yeah so there was a dc at the end randomly don't know if that was his fault or not but uh yeah great game guys both of you um strange dc there but never mind um yeah so remember to comment rate sub and uh yeah hope you enjoyed my double header peace out guys